And now we'll switch to Mark Meckler, Tea Party Patriots co-founder, who joins us. Welcome, Mark. Good morning. So we're talking about the Tea Party. Should we be talking about the Tea Party at all in connection with this? No, I don't think so. I think that's politicizing an enormous human tragedy. I think it's outrageous that the media and some folks in politics jump to that immediately. They look to gain political points out of something that's an enormous human tragedy. I think it shows how dehumanized our political system and our media have become. I think it's very unfortunate. Now, it's not just the media which is jumping. Um, Judson Phillips, uh, the Tea Party Nation founder, sent out an email and, and it leads by saying in a moment, a leftist lunatic destroyed a half a dozen lives. So now th th there's no affiliation between uh, you and Mr. Phillips, but, but if somebody is making the case that this is a political act by a leftist uh, and somebody who's associated with the Tea Party, it's not crazy to follow through on the extension of that argument, is it? No, I would agree with that. And Judson Phillips, is he calls himself Tea Party Nation. That's a nation of one. This is the same guy who said that it might be a good idea to connect voting rights with property ownership. So I don't think it's a rational actor saying those things. You also had uh, Sal Russo from the Tea Party Express saying this morning that this is an example now of the Tea Party movement becoming the victims. All of those things are, are craziness, really. I mean, these are people who should know better that are saying things that are inappropriate on both sides. This is not a political act. This is an act of a person who's not mentally well, and we should deal with it in those terms. And we should really be dealing with it in terms of the enormous human tragedy. We should be talking about the victims. We should be talking about the service of the federal judge who lost his life. Those are the things we should be focused on, not the politics of the situation. And yet we, we have in our internet world these days conversations that take place not on television, not through the normal media. Facebook announced that on the weekend the question about whether Sarah Palin was to blame was the number one question. It arose immediately before this was a conversation on the cable television. So, so you have conversations that exist whether you want them to or not. And I guess my question is now that there is a conversation about whether uh, the Tea Party or Sarah Palin has uh, profited by more uh, extreme rhetoric. Is that a conversation, if it's going to happen, um, don't you want to take a part in it and say, wait a minute, you've gone way over the, over the edge here? Well, I think the answer is those of those in the media who, who control those conversations essentially and those in politics have a responsibility to back down from those conversations and to say we should be talking about an enormous human tragedy. I mean, I've never even heard on air the names of all of the victims, all of the people who are still in the hospital. That's where our focus should be, our prayers, our thoughts for the well-being of those people. And I think it's our responsibility as people in the public sphere to push the conversation to the human tragedy and to remove it from the political. But after an agreement with you on that, after that happens and is done, um, is, there a, is there a place? Should there even be a conversation about the level, level of rhetoric in politics that's connected to this at all? No, I don't think so. I mean, if you look at the history of American politics, the rhetoric has always been high from the days of George Washington on through the Civil War, the abolitionist movement. Rhetoric has always been hot and heated in American politics. It does not necessarily lead to violence. That kind of violence comes from sick people. And I, actually, I think political rhetoric is a healthy thing. You get people out there, they get it out in the public sphere, they can express their opinions. We have more trouble when people are restrained from openly expressing their opinions than we do when people express them. That's the history and the tradition of political debate in the United States. Okay, Mark McClure, thanks so much of the Tea Party Patriots. Thanks Thank for joining us.